I have heard that mesothelioma patients often have both chemotherapy and radiation and sometimes surgery, sometimes all three. I know about the side effects of chemotherapy, but I don't know much about radiation and its side effects. Can you talk about that? You know, um, some, you know, I guess this, it's, I just want to reemphasize that one point that it's not like one, um, one size fits all. You know, it's kind of, you know, sometimes people have chemotherapy, then they have surgery. Sometimes they have surgery, then they have chemotherapy. Sometimes they just have chemotherapy, um, you know, and sometimes they have radiation, you know, they have radiation for the chest wall, they have radiation for different things as the journey goes on. So it's, you know, it's a lot of times people can have all three, right, Lisa? Yeah, they do. And um, so I would say the side effects that I'm familiar with radiation, I'm certainly not a radiation specialist. But usually if you go for radiation, it's, you know, it's consecutive treatments Monday through Friday um, to a certain area. It's, you know, usually I think it's probably between 15 and 30 treatments. It can be very difficult. It can be very grueling. I think fatigue is the number one side effect. Mm -hmm. And I think the burning of the skin, people, you know, will say that it was like the worst sunburn of their lives. Um, and it, again, it depends upon what area has been radiated. That also um, plays into factors about what side effects. Um, you can possibly endure. But, um, you know, radiation isn't easy by any stretch, but, um, you know, it, it does, it does uh, help quite a bit if, you could, if that's what's been ordered for your care. Yeah, a lot of times the radiation is used for, um, pal pal you know, for pain, you know, for uh, if you're having, uh, if the tumor is impinging on, the ner on a nerve that's giving you a lot of pain and that's kind of uh, and sometimes it's used you know in, in, in the course of the treatment to shrink uh, the tumor and shrink the, yeah exactly into you know after a human after me to you know to get any other um, spots that might be there uh, but again like Lisa said the fatigue is usually the one that people really complain about they feel great the first week or so and then it just hits them the third week and it's just overwhelming fatigue. And I guess that's, um, maybe we should say a little bit more too about, uh, at this point, about pain. You know, pain management has come a long way in the past 10, 15 years. And a lot of the, um, you know, there's specialists in that area, uh, pain and palliative um, doctors, and, you know, there's, uh, there's ways to keep patients very comfortable so that it's not something that you know that they should be totally focused on you know that you know that the pain won't be under control because there is they've come a long way in the last few years especially with um, you know any of these side effects you know, there's creams there's you know different things that people can do 